Hey Flamingos! So we've done the title page to our Oh The Places I'll Go book and I helped uh, walk you through how to do that. Every word has a line and I've switched colors for each word and I've done mine in a rainbow pattern. You can do yours in whatever you'd like if you want to do all the same color. It's helpful to do um, different colors so you can see the difference between each of the words. Uh, and remember to underline each word as you go. Miss Lauren was forgetting as I was doing it but I corrected it. So uh, this is the result of the title. I'm going to cut out, if you can bring this to our next meetup, I'm going to cut out your titles, the three lines, and I'm going to glue them onto your cover for your book, okay? The next thing that goes on the cover of a book, we learned this when we uh, did our autobiographies, is uh, the author and the illustrator. That's usually on the, the cover of a book. And so we're going to put that on the cover of your book. First, I wanna to read to you a really fun book about a, a story that doesn't have any pictures. So it has an author. The author's job is to write the book, but it doesn't have an illustrator. The illustrator's job, remember, the illustrator's job is to draw the pictures. And the publisher's job is to make the book. So we have a book here in our hands, right? So this book is a funny one. And it has a word that's not so kind, um, and so um, it might be one that you can't say. I'll point it out that it's not allowed to say it's your house. Um, and so I'll point it out when we get to it that it's not a kind word to repeat, but it's part of the story and it's a funny story. Um, and so this is called The Book With No Pictures by B.J. Novak. Parents, he's, he's uh, an actor who's on The Office. And there's a really funny reading. I'll find it and I'll attach it to the Google Classroom post of him reading this book on YouTube as well, the book with no pictures. So the author of this book is B.J. Novak, but there isn't an illustrator listed because there's no illustrator. Okay, let's do it. The book with no pictures by B.J. Novak. This is a book with no pictures seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It might. It probably seems boring and serious. Except, here is how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say. No matter what. Uh-oh. That's the deal, that's the rule. So that means even if the words say, Lork, wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Blurf, wait a second, what? This isn't the kind of book I wanted to read and I have to say every word the book says? Yeah, uh-oh. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I'm reading you this book with my monkey mouth and my monkey voice. That's not true, I am not a monkey. I'm Miss Lauren. <laughs> yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. What? That's silly. And my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading now? Please, please. And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song? Do I really have to sing a song? Glug, 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 my face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off of the rug. What? That is cuckoo bananas. This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading it yet? No, are you sure? There are more pages and I have to read the rest? <sighs> My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Butt? So that's the word that's not so kind. Might not be good to repeat, but it's a part of this book so I'm reading it. So it's kind of silly, but it's not a good one to repeat probably at your house. And also, the kid I'm reading this book to is the best kid ever in the history of the whole entire universe. Oh, really? You are? 
And this kid is the smartest kid too because this kid chose this book even though it had no pictures at all. Because kids know that this book, it's a book that makes grown-ups have to say silly, silly things. And make silly sounds like, oh no, oh no, here it comes. Here it comes, are you ready? Glurga wako ma grumpa do a yee yee Baruch, Baruch, Baruch. Oop, eep. Blaggity, blaggity, glibbity, glibbity, globbity, globbity, glibbity. Beep, beep, bop, bop. Ee, 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 ee. face. Oh my goodness. So silly. Cuckoo bananas. Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so silly. And in fact, it is completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures, okay? With an illustrator, not just an author. Please, because this is just too ridiculous to read. The end. Boink. I didn't really want to say that, though. <laughs> Grump. Wacko! That's a funny book, isn't it? So this guy's a pretty funny guy. He has a grown-up show on television called The Office, and he's a pretty funny actor. So let's get started now with our author and illustrator page here. So we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go right to the top, and we're gonna do author, the person who writes the words author and illustrator, the person whose job it is to make the pictures. I-L-L-U-S-T-R-A-T-O-R, illustrator. And now this says first name, last name. So you're not gonna copy that, but you're going to write your first name and your last name, okay? So I'm gonna write Lauren Boyle. You're gonna write your first name and your last name here, okay? So let's see, we're gonna do Lauren. Lauren, and my last name is Boyle. So we're gonna write Boyle. Lauren Boyle. So you're going to write author and illustrator Lauren Boyle. So if you can bring this title page here and the author and illustrator work that we just did to our meetup uh, at school, then I will take all of this and I'm going to cut out these parts of it and I'm going to glue it to your cover. And then you, we're going to give you that book when you graduate, okay, on May 29th. All right, so this is a special last project. We're getting it started now with our title and our author and illustrator line, and, and we're gonna make our front, front cover, okay? And there are gonna be lots of things from this year in there. There's gonna be a story with pictures of you, a letter, lots of quotes about each and every one of the flamingos who was in our class, who were the, every single flamingo in our class. And uh, then I'm going to give you guys pages each and every day, two pages a day to complete at home and we'll put those in the book after our graduation, okay? All right, guys, great start. So remember to bring these two pages to our meetup, okay, our next meetup at school. Thank you all so much. See you soon.